Hello, fellow day traders. My name is Fausto from Cybertrainversity, and I want to do another video talking about the NASDAQ Book Viewer, uh, which is also known as Total View. If you've been watching some of the other videos, you'll notice I've been doing a bunch of videos on this. A lot of people want to learn a little bit more about it and want to show you another good example of how important it is to let you know how to follow the money. Now, if you watch one of the old videos or any of the, my other videos, if you subscribe to it and do a search, I go into a basic description of how to do it in a very simple layman terms, but I'm going to do a little bit more advanced trading on right now. So this is a little bit more of the strategy behind it. So I'm just going to minimize, uh, this is the actually home page of the NASDAQ uh, website, which is what I use to access what you're looking at right here. Now, here's a browser base of the book viewer. And um, basically what I want to show you is that I see that there is 71,000 shares looking to be bought of AMD. Now, if you notice, AMD um, has been a very, very, one of the most popular trading stocks on the NASDAQ. There's a lot of trading going on, but um, some of us don't have the strategy and they're like, okay, well, it's been going up, but why is it trending down? Where do I get, where do I cover? Or when should I buy it? Well, the thing is you have to understand is that the way stocks go up and go down is supply and demand. And I keep repeating that because I want to make sure I get into your traders' heads that it doesn't matter what the stock does, it's what everybody else is doing. And if you notice right here that the stock, I'm just going to bring up a daily chart right here. I'm going to show you what's going on. And you can see over the course of the day, AMD went from 39.80 and, you know, from the, from the start of this morning and just literally just came all the way down to a price of 39.20. Now, that's a pretty, not a huge drop, but it's something that, you know, all of us are looking at it and say, okay, well, does it have a double top, a triple bottom? You hear all these little, you know, technical terms but the, th the bottom line is this it came to a, a price which was right around close to the 39 and in the past hour it's been having a tough time breaking it why is that is it because of the candlestick is it because of the Bolger bands because of what listen at the end of the day there are buyers out there how do you get that confirmation well let's go stop uh, let's go look at our book viewer and if you look down here at the bottom and we work our way down, you'll notice that right when we get down to $39, not $39.20, not $39.10, $39, there are over 151 different orders. That means that there are a lot of, there's 150 people that make up 100 shares, 1,000 shares, 300 shares, maybe even your shares. And that's equivalent to 71,000 shares. Now listen. There are orders at every single price up over here at 39.20, at 39.12 that make up 11 shares. But that is a lot of orders. So when you're sitting there and you're looking at the chart, and let me kind of split the screen for you so you can see a little bit better. And you're seeing that, wow, look at that big drop. And then all of a sudden it's kind of like loses steam and it's starting to trend up a little bit, but it's not really breaking it and getting back to that big buyer. Well, it's because that there is a demand out there. So fellow traders, when you, to learn more about trading and learning how to use the right tools, you need to have the right platforms. And when you look at the book viewer and you're looking at, basically this is one of the ECNs that are out there. Um, but when you look over here and you look at these ECNs, you have to know what makes one uh, more predominant than the other. Because you have several ECNs, but I preferably like the NASDAQ book viewer. It's one of the original ones out there, a lot of orders out there. And obviously you could see how uh, a pretty, uh, a pretty uh, predominant the stock could make uh, support levels due to that big order. So anyway, to see more videos like this, just subscribe to my YouTube. Just click on the bottom, that, like it, and also click subscribe, and we'll and I'll show you a lot more tips just like to use the book viewer. Because remember, stocks go up due to supply and demand. And if you want to learn how to day trade, you want to know why these things go up as a swing trade. You got to know how to use the book viewer uh, more than anything. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. See you any and see you in the upcoming videos.